Hello everyone, welcome back to London Code. So in the previous videos related to EC2 instance, we have seen how to launch an EC2 instance using two methods. One is the launch wizard and the second is the launch template, which can be reused again and again to create as many number of virtual machines as you like. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the third method which you can use to create an EC2 instance. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the official documentation provided by AWS. And as we can see, there are lots of methods which we can use to launch an EC2 instance. And we have already seen the first two methods that is using the launch instance wizard where we specify all the launch parameters and create the EC2 instance. Second is the launch template, which you create and then use the launch template to launch the instances. And these launch templates basically helps you to automate the launching of EC2 instances. And you can use them uh, in your SDKs or through CLI. So it's all up to you how you want to use them. Next is the use an existing instance as the base. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. This is my AWS console and uh, this is the EC2 dashboard where all the resources can be seen. I already have an EC2 instance running, which I created using the launch template as we can see here. So if I go back to my EC2 instance, I can use this instance to create a, another one, which would be similar to this one. I can go to actions, then image and template. Then I can go to launch more like this. And if you go to here, you can see a template and this is a quick uh, start, which helps you to create a similar EC2 instance easily. You can specify the number of instances. You can change and modify the EC2 instance. I'm going to make it as EC2 instance 2. Then the OSN application image, which we are using. Since we are using, we are creating the same EC2 instance. So I'm going to keep it as same. Then the instance type that uh, we, we are going to use to create this EC2 instance. And it is t2.micro. Then the key pair we will be using. I already have Mumbai key pair that I created. So I'm going to use the same. If you do not have the key pair, you can create a new one. Put the key pair name and you can just click on create key pair, it will be created. Then the VPC, which is the virtual private network in which this EC2 instance is going to launch. So I'm going to keep it as default. Then the subnet, you can again draw in the from the drop down, you can change it. Then the auto assign public IP. Then we have storage option. Which so this is a brief summary of our EC2 instance, which is going to be created using our base uh, EC2 instance that we have already uh, created. So if I go to launch instance, my new instance will be ready in a couple of seconds. Currently it's in pending state. My old instance is this one which is already running and I created a new instance using the old instance as the base image. I kept all the things identical to show you that we can just simply go to actions, image and template, launch more like this and then create a similar easy to instance in a very quick and easy way. So now you can see that my new EC2 instance is also up and running and uh, we can simply connect to it. Go to connect. You can see that you have the SSH command and uh, you can, I already um, have my key pair with the right permissions. So you can make sure that your permissions are correct and the key pair is not publicly viewable. So now I'm going to just take this SSH command and open the terminal. I'm already inside my download folder where my key pair resides. So just simply putting SSH command to SSH into the instance. And here we are inside the instance. So this was another simple way of launching an EC2 instance using another EC2 instance as base image. If you want to stop the EC2 instance, then you can simply go to instance state and uh, stop or terminate as you like. So I'm going to terminate it as I do not need it anymore. 
Last but not the least, I wanted to talk to you about Newton School Full Stack Developer Course, which is a great resource if you want to have a better package in IT industry. Newton School provides and guarantees to have placement offers of more than 5 LPA from top-notch companies like Google, Nike, Zomato, etc. without asking for any upfront fees, which is great. So do check out their Full Stack Developer Course. I will provide the link in the description below. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it and you found it helpful. In the next videos, I'm going to cover more concepts of EC2 instances. So till then, keep learning.